Innovation is about thinking outside of the box. It's about expanding on what we can do to help people. Innovation is meeting unmet clinical needs. It changes the status quo. It can be a big change, a small change, a complex change. Innovation is hard. It's not easy. You innovate, you fail, you iterate, you fail again, you iterate, you succeed. Innovation for us at FDA is this exciting opportunity to take a step forward and look at what we've been doing and rethink and reimagine how we could do it better. I think if the innovation pathway is successful, the ultimate winner is the American public. The most exciting aspect of it is that potentially patients will get their devices faster than they're currently getting them. The quicker we get them to market, the quicker patients can have access to them, and we, we boost the industry too. For me, the really exciting thing is changing the way we do business. I'm most excited about the new interaction between the innovator and FDA. The innovative pathway has gotten us together. We understand one another better, and we're starting to talk the same language. It also represents a real innovation in how FDA does business, an employment of a lean startup style approach, uh, rapid prototyping, continuous learning, engagement with stakeholders early and often, all happening at light speed, uh, that uh, helps FDA deliver better on its mission for the American people. The Innovation Pathway represents a new way of doing business within the Center's existing regulatory framework, one where FDA staff and innovators engage much earlier and in more collaborative and creative ways. If you have the FDA and the innovator on the same side of the table looking at all that unknown out there that stands between you and the innovation becoming a reality, having the guidance and support and the open communication with the FDA would be fantastic. The Innovation Pathway offers new tools and methods that will deepen and broaden the pre-submission phase of device review. By doing so, we think we can ultimately reduce time and cost in getting safe and effective new technologies to the patients who need them. The whole effort of the Innovation Pathway essentially should be directed to the patient. We are here to benefit the patient. Providing new technology should be done in a safe and efficacious way. When we introduced the Innovation Pathway in 2011, we had one applicant, which allowed us to focus on the structure and foundation of this program. That experience shaped the second version, Innovation Pathway 2.0, which is now welcoming a small new set of applications for products that address end-stage renal disease. As is the nature of device development, the lessons we learn from this experience will lead to improvements in future versions of the pathway. The Innovation Pathway is a CDRH experiment in thinking differently, sort of a living laboratory or incubator. We will test new approaches to pre-market review using the latest technology for more real-time collaboration. We've started off the Innovation Pathway 2.0 by looking at very early stage and innovative device technology, stuff that's really in its infancy, which is a perfect testing ground for pre-submission collaboration. I say 2.0 because the very nature of the Innovation Pathway is to empower CDRH staff and stakeholders to find creative solutions to the challenges they face, which means the Innovation Pathway is about and allows for continuous improvement through ongoing experimentation. It involves everyone on the team clearly understanding not only the risks, but equally importantly, the benefits of the device from multiple perspectives. I'm encouraged by the openness to evaluate new methods and tools to advance the field of regulatory science, to ensure that we are getting the right products, safe products, and effective products to the marketplace. When we find an approach that works, we will roll it into our existing processes for breakthrough technologies, as well as for other devices where it adds value. When one approach doesn't work, we throw it out and move on. What the innovation pathway is not is a lowering of our standards. The U.S. standards of reasonable assurance of safety and effectiveness and of relying on valid scientific evidence have served patients and industry well. We should not change them. Our focus, as always, is patience. 
while our target is broader than pre-market review. So the success of the innovation pathway will be based on stronger collaboration with industry, healthcare practitioners, and patients, a reduction in time and cost from product development to market, and a smarter review process. So how do we define success? That U.S. patients have access to high quality, safe and effective devices of public health importance first in the world. That's not a lofty vision, but an achievable goal if we embrace, as the innovation pathway does, the entrepreneurial spirit that has fueled America's success. U.S. innovation has inspired the world, and we have been the global leader in medical device technology. The innovation pathway is a creative, experimental approach to the smart development, assessment, and review of medical devices that can help maintain our leadership role, which ultimately is in the best interests of the health of patients and consumers.